Welcome back everybody in today's episode we're going to make no box shock from Fallout New Vegas. Let's get building. If you've been watching the channel lately I've um, just started a new game of Fallout New Vegas and I was actually in Novak the other day and I came across no box cabin. Uh, which is part of a quest line if you haven't played New, New Vegas, but such an interesting looking um, little shack. I thought I would uh, attempt to build it here in Sunshine Tidings. Now, this would be ideal if you have a tight little spa space you wanted to build in. Um, it isn't a huge uh, shack or home as, it, as such, but um, it looks very interesting. So. I've used the prefabs only because the roof on this build is a little bit tricky and so it took me a while just to figure out how to build it so you get this roof here and it face it this way and then you have to get if you flick around across a couple there's a slanted roof and that's facing the opposite way so that's the toughest part pretty much done but it it did take me a while just to figure out how I was going to actually build that. So we we don't need the prefabs anymore, so we'll get rid of those. Uh, and we'll replace them with just the normal foundation pieces. The wooden foundation. Shark foundation pieces, it's uh, ironic. Now, it's important that you have the height right on this because you're going to need to put a door in there. And so, you know, the, the height has to be at a certain level so that the door fits. Otherwise, you won't be able to get in, and that would, wouldn't be good. So, the, the overall look of this is really a, a sc really scrappy looking derelict building. And um, it's, I think it was important for me to show you because um, you might want to use the technique in another building. And it's also a technique I've been using for a while when uh, the buildings that I make are just like a little bit too clean for the environment. So there is a gap there. Don't worry about the gap too much at this point. We will fix that uh, fairly shortly. And I've decided just to use a whole lot of different elements both from the normal vanilla pieces we get and a couple of different mods, uh, workshop rearranged and um, vanilla extensions and mixing it up and mixing also mixing different textures up and different types of walls and and i think when you see the final build it, it really is worth doing that because it really sells the overall look um, that, that i'm actually going for looks a bit weird at the moment but uh, you'll see how it, it ends up it looks really good i'm really pleased with this build so Gonna muck, around. <laughs> gonna muck around with this for a while. Yeah, it's not gonna snap in there. In the end, I'll use it anyway. But it doesn't stop me having to try having a go. Put it in there. And there are a couple of challenges here, in as much as, um, like you saw before, there's a gap, a piece missing. Um, also, with the sloping roof, there's no pieces that I could find that fill in that triangle piece, uh, space. So I'll have to find a solution for that as well. But hopefully um, this will help you if you're building and you're having the same kind of difficulties where you just get these, these gaps that you, you don't have a piece for. So, okay, so we're just completing the walls. And again, as you see, I'm just trying to vary what I'm using just to make it look... I don't want a uniform look. I want quite a... a, a um, inconsistent look if you like now this piece just doesn't want to, to play um, and again it's it ends up being a load order sorry build order more than anything so take it out put this piece in first and in the end I have to use the, uh, the method where you actually look down at the ground to get this in and you'll see what I mean in a second so sometimes if you can't get something in it Actually, changing the angle of your view, well, there you go, snaps in just like that, will help to do it. And then I'll, I can just 
chuck this in and this should just there you go snap into place so i have an idea to do actually do uh, a settlement build with this kind of look um, so i'm going to find the right settlement first but i want to do a series of builds or houses like this um, and i have an idea how i'm going to do this so we'll see if we see if that comes true or not in the future i've got so many builds in front of it though um, we'll, we'll see how we go now this is um uh, you see those people not all those pieces are going to work for you so it, it's a learning here just to learn what, what works in this situation what doesn't and um i do put a piece in here now this wooden piece here that repeats that's actually the same part in the front and i realized that a little bit later and that actually changed it the look of that piece on the front so that it changes everything and it doesn't look uniform so so you see we have a gap in between the walls and and workshop rearrange has these wonderful uh, cross beams that you can put in and they slot straight in there i like to vary them up um, but they they fix that issue in between the buildings very nicely and they're, they're perfect for it in fact that's pretty much what they're, they're designed to do they can be a little bit tricky to to put into place but you know persistence you'll get them in they will fit sometimes what you have to do is see that dropped in and then it dropped out and it sometimes does that and i'm trying to change the angle slowly ease it in sometimes if you so I'm outside the, the boundary now, so I might go inside and just try it, there you go, just slot it in there. Sometimes what you have to do is either put one below or above, and it, then it will just, there you go, snap into it right there. And that one snaps in after a little bit of persuasion. You can also use them to block up these kind of gaps, at least to a point. It's not going to do the full gap, but it certainly will help to part uh, block that up for you so you see i've offset that a little bit and i've got an idea what i can do now i have a, <laughs> have a problem getting out the door a couple of times on this build i don't know why but anyway so we've got most of the walls in most of that structure main structures now we we junk it up even more by using these uh, window boards and wall boards and they're they're just terrific for that see i can actually just put that up above that window there now and just try and block that up i don't want to block everything up i don't want, i still want to be have some holes in the walls and stuff so you can play around with a whole lot of different elements here a whole lot of different boards and add them on top of each other uh, and just build the overall look now i'm going to do something here Put this one here now it's the same as the other side but i'm going to change that a little bit so that you don't pick up on it because it, i'll show you how you can just start adding layers of different boards on here um, to change the look so it's looking good so far with the original build uh, with the original building from new vegas from novak so i'm going to put that in there on top of it or to the side and then so therefore you're not picking up that it's a you're using the same material so with the original building in novak and in, in fallout new vegas um there is a limitation on how well i'm going to be able to recreate this and to be honest i don't want to totally recreate it exactly the same now that this front board see this is just changing this front board to make make it look a little bit different to the the other one and um, so what i've done with this build is i've kept a lot of references to the original build and what i'll do in the final tour is i'm going to show you the original build from the fallout new vegas game and the one i come up with so i'll keep a lot of the references but it's simply see i'm trying to get out the door again simply isn't possible just to create it absolutely and i think i think you use things for inspiration and you know give it give it your own feel and your own style so let's see how what you think at the end you can leave some comments about this build at the at below just to see what you think versus the original 
So here's another here's another thing that you can do just to plug up gaps and, and make it look a little bit more scrappy again. So you have these uh, wall planks, floorboard planks, whatever you want to call them. And you can just vary the different ones in different angles just to make it look like it, they've tried to plug up that gap and tried to make it secure. So well, I think we're doing pretty well so far. Um, that almost looks like a window at the back. Now we had a rad storm, so hence why it suddenly got bright all of a sudden. And uh, yeah, the weather the weather wasn't my friend in this build. So in the in No Bark's cabin, he has this uh, platform that he has propped up with breeze blocks or cinder blocks. So I wanted to recreate it, but I've I never really played with these materials before as far as trying to do what I'm doing here and building a support and for some reason this is really strange you'll see in a second I can only build two on top of each other but then when I pick these two up they will fit and snap on there so I'm not quite sure what's going on there but anyway um, it's a bit strange so I'm using this as a column. I tried to build it inside and I only got to four and it wouldn't, wouldn't allow me to put any more in. So I've got four there. One thing to be careful and you'll see in a minute when I put it inside is this will drop down if because we've got a shack um, foundation it actually drops through into the ground. So what I have to do is I have to use place anywhere to get that last one in. See it won't, I'm trying to pick it up but every time I do it will just drop straight back down into the floor. And again you know, like I said I hadn't worked with these before a lot so it's learning for me. That's okay, it's okay, you know you can work around these things, it's not too bad. So I need to take that block there, just add it to there. And what I've done is I've, in the original shack and, and I'll talk a little bit more in the tour about this, but in the original shark, it's all in one level. But I decided to have two levels because of that high roof that we've put in. Why not have a couple of levels in here? Because it is quite a, a long, narrow building, so it makes sense to, to try and utilise the, the, uh, the height. So, under his platform in the original build, he has a bed. So I do put a mattress, and it's only a mattress, I put it in here for now, actually changed the layout completely downstairs and um, you'll see in the final tour how that all turns out and I think the solution I come out up with is, is much uh, much better for the layout and it looks much better. Now, Nobark Shack is kind of weird, it has all these elements to it that not really sure <laughs> what exactly is going on, but you know. Anyway, it's 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 quite an interesting building. Okay, so I think we've done good so far. We're nearly at the end of the build, or at least the the part that I'm going to show you. I'm not going to show you all the decoration because you don't want to see me decorate something for half an hour. And it's it's all the same stuff you've probably seen in the past. So I, I took some time to find a stairway for it. The scaffolding stairways are great because you get these narrow stairways that uh, don't take up too much room. See that one takes up too much room. This one snaps straight into place and it, it's, it sits on the side there. So that's looking good. Now I have a, uh, an idea, maybe I should just extend that upstairs area a little bit more. So we're going to use those, um, not the railings, we're going to use, I'll get completely confused here, I don't know what I was thinking, but we use the bridge pieces, and we're going to use this piece in particular here, so it's shack bridge, and it seems to all fit with the look. If you've uh, been to Diamond City and you've seen Nick's detective agency, he has a little room out the back and he pretty much does a very similar thing to this um, in his upstairs area. So for some reason that doesn't want to go in there so I've got to, I've got to glitch it. But 
but that's okay. It, it's, um, it's certainly worth doing. I just don't want it. Make sure you, if you're going to do this, it's not poking out too far so that you can see it from the outside. Here we go. Put the ladder back in. And we're nearly finished. Here we go. I think one more piece, one more floor piece. And we're pretty much done, I think. So yeah, have a have a go at this. It's um, like I said, it's it's a nice kind of little house for a settler, and you could put a, a whole row of them, I guess. Um, that doesn't take up too much room, and for me, it's perfect in sunshine tidings. If you have a look around, the material seem to work in here. Here we go, done. So here's the original shark. No bark shark. Have a look around. Mine is probably a little bit more scrappy than this one. <laughs> and you can see the, the textures are a little bit different. Um, let's have a look inside. And you can see all the weirdness that goes on. He has a bit of a compulsion. He likes his Nuka Cola for some reason. Um, he has sandbags everywhere. These posters we actually have in the game from some of the mods, which I didn't realise. And you can see his little platform there with his bed underneath it. Um, so let's see when we come to the, what we've actually done, how we've done. So here we go, here's the final build. And yeah, I've added a few things, the tires are there, and there's a few other things. You've got an outdoor shower, that's lovely. Um, so let's go inside and have a look. Here we go. And so you, now that you've seen the original, you will get the, the references of a few things that are that were in the, the original build. But made it my own, plus it's definitely a Fallout 4 build now, brought right up to date. And you see those posters are the same. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this. It was a lot of fun just to do a quick little build. Um, Give you a little bit of an idea, a little bit different. So thanks for watching. Drop a like, drop a comment, and we'll catch you later.